Hi friends, this is Gani. In this video, I am going to explain you how to create double angle bracing in Tecla structures in simple method. Just like this. And the second connection is just like this. Just like this. Okay. Uh, before going to explain you, uh, take a new file. So go to menu, click on new, click on create. Double click on this 3D view. And close this window at here. And drag and max build this window. Okay. We need to create elevation and plan view. So click on grid, right click on mouse. Create views along grid lines. Click on create and OK. And close this window. Okay. Now we're going to create the columns at this location at here. So go to steel, click on steel and select this column. And click on here to place the column. Right click on mouse, interrupt. Now we're going to adjust the height of this column. So double click on this column. On bottom level, we're going to take 0. On top level, 20 feet. Click on modify and close it. Now we're going to take one more column at here. So click on this column and place it. Right click on mouse, interrupt. Now we're going to place the bracings at this location. Before that, we're going to go to the elevation view. So use the shortcut Control I for view list. Otherwise, you can go to the here views. Click on this view list. Okay. These two columns are at elevation 2. So click on this elevation on grid 2 and click on here and close it. Okay, now we're going to take the uh, points here uh, to place the bracings easily. So go to edit and select this point and points. Select this at any position. Click on here, right click on mouse interrupt. Now drag and select this point, right click on mouse. Move special, linear. We need to move in the Z direction, you can see in the uh, coordinate. So in the Z direction, let's take on feet, click on move, OK. Right click on most interrupt. Similarly like that, we're going to take one more point at here. So click on here point and take it any position and click on here. Right click on most interrupt and drag and select this point. Right click on mouse, move special linear. At this time, we need to move in the opposite Z direction. So make it here, negative, minus. So click on move, OK. Right click on most interrupt. OK, now we have the reference point at here and here. So now we're going to create the bracings, uh, double angle bracing at here. So go to steel and select this, click on here and select this twin profile. Zoom it and click on here first point and pick the second point at here. Right click on mouse, interrupt. Go to 3D view. You can adjust the spacing between two angles here. Uh, so before uh, to adjust the spacing we need to uh, enter the value between the two angles so drag and select and delete these angles now we're going to create once again so click on steel and click on here beam and hold the shift button on your keyboard and click on select this twin profile option you will get the property of this twin profile here and scroll it down the spacing between two angles you can adjust from here currently we have three by eight inch for example we're going to take half inch thickness of the plate so let's take here half inch otherwise you can take one by four inch thickness of the plate then we need to select these two points so pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here and right click on mouse interrupt and close it now the spacing between two spacing between the two angles should be one by four inch okay you can check this uh, dimension so go to planet zero level so click on here and select this view list and select this planet zero and click on here and close it now zoom it and you can check the distance between the two angles here so go to edit and select here and take the horizontal distance and select this option snap to nearest point and pick the first point at here edge if you're not getting the edge snap tool you need to activate this option snap to geometry line and pick the first point and pick the second point and place it here you can see now the uh, distance between two angles should be one by four inch 
okay right click on mouse interrupt and click on space right click on mouse redraw view go to 3d view and now go to elevation view click on here and select this elevation now i'm going to create one more two angles in this direction so drag and select these angles right click on mouse you can use the copy special mirror option and pick the first point at the middle of this grid at here and pick the second point middle of this grid at here then click on copy ok right click on mouse interrupt and go to 3d view you'll get just like this ok now we're going to create the bracings uh, between column to this double angle bracing so go to application and components by using the shortcut control f and close it and in the search type type double one eleven okay then you will get this bolt bolted gusset eleven so click on here and close this window and select the column and select this brace then press the scroll middle button to place the connection right click on mouse interrupt by default you will get this type of connection now we're going to see the options to edit this type of connection so right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse redraw view and double click on this connection now we're going to uh, see the options here to adjust the spacing between this flange to this angle so enter here half inch let's take half inch space between the two uh, members then click on modify you can see now the spacing between two members should be half inch okay now we're going to change this uh, profile this gusset plate profile so in the stripe direction so make it here angle zero here also zero and click on modify you'll get the stripe plate just like this now we're going to uh, make the some edge distance here from the angle to this gusset plate so enter here half inch here also half inch and here also half inch then click on modify you can see you will get this type of connection with the plate gusset plate okay now we're going to see the uh, distance between the bolts and bolt sizes so click on this bo brace bolt one tap and in the bolt size click on here and let's take three by four inch bolt and uh, tolerance is the one by 16 and click on here and we're going to take at middle so click on here and uh, we're going to take the uh, distance is here one inch one inch and here two let's take two inches then click on modify okay you will get like this okay now we're going to take here instead of one inch two inches here and here four inch like that like that you can change the distances here from these options okay now you can apply the same connection in the remaining options so click on modify apply okay now go to application components and select this bolted gusset 11 and close it and select this column and this brace and press the scrolling button do the same procedure at every junction to create the connection like this you can see now I have the double angle bracing like this okay now we're going to create the connection between uh, at this location so go to elevation view elevation on grid 2 and zoom it currently we have the full length angles here we need to split uh, this single angle into two parts so click on this edit and select this split option and select this angle and click at the middle like this right click on most interrupt you can see you can rotate here also control r for rotation click on here and rotate you can see this angle are split into two parts but in this side these are the full length angle we need to split this angle also two parts so select this split and select this angle and change the angle control p use the shortcut for control p and zoom it now we're going to uh, split at here right click on mouse interrupt go to 3d view you can see now these two are two 
parts and in this direction also we have two parts okay now we're going to create the connection so go to application components by using shortcut control f and select this bolted gusset 11 and close this window and pick the full length angle and pick the remaining two parts then press the scroll middle button to place the connection right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse redraw you will get just like this here you can see these bolts are uh, at the middle of this angle but these are one side of the angle so we need to edit this connection so right click on mouse interrupt double click on this connection you can see this half inch indicates the space between minimum distance between the two members here and uh, the zero indicates the plate is the full length angle just like this and this half inch indicates the edge distance here from the angle to this plate gusset plate and now we're going to uh, see the bolt brace bolt one here we have the uh, previous options di dimensions here two inch and three inches like this for edge distances uh, here you can see two inch indicate the bolt to edge of the plate and these two indicates the number of bolts two and three indicates the distance between two bolts is three inches and two indicates the bolt to the edge of the plate okay that's it about this connection uh, to adjust these options you need to go to the option brace bolt two and need to enter here two inch two inch and uh, two bolts and three inches and we need to make it a middle and then click on modify you can see now we have the options here like this then click on modify apply okay you can see you'll get this type of connection at this location yeah that's it about double angle bracing in tecla structures like this okay if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gunny sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new videos so please click on subscribe okay thank you